Fisher plays here. Back with another video. And today we're playing Hunter Call of the Wild. Well, I guess we're really not playing it. Um my next Call of the Wild video this is kind of what I'm going to be my future with Call of the Wild. It's been a rough start. Um for one, I have multiple times installed it multiple times. Um, this is the first time I'll um, claim. It's just when it loads, it'll crash. Or no, it doesn't crash drivers and still didn't work. And so then at one point, I sent in a ticket for it, got my money back. Now I finally did it because I noticed there was an upward and stuff. Um, I have an AMD Radeon 8, 8? I don't know. 8, 8 something. But yeah, so it's laggy. So fix it. I've went into settings, changed stuff, all my graphics and everything low or off. Um, I am into the game right now and show you my features. Right now I am on, um, but I will get, or I have been on Leighton Lake a lot and that's where I've got most of this $3,000. So right now I have the 243 Ranger. Um, the only other rifle I have unlocked is the 270 Warden. Um, it's the camo, camo rifle. That's it's the camo. Sometimes it'll glitch out and won't show me the actual um, uh, weapon. But I would get this, but it's 12,000. So my next weapon, so what I, I what I've kind of decided is to get the uh, whoops bow um to get one. Okay, so it's the bear claw. Cause they're both sixty pound draw weights. Um, it, they are pretty much identical. This is the only one that's higher. See Hawkage, but it's locked because I don't have enough bow score. So this is probably the one I'm getting because something I've decided or found out is it'd be easier for me to get a bow at six thousand dollars than to to um, earn twelve thousand dollars and get the rifle. I guess it could really go either way, but it'd take longer to get the rifle. Or to do it rifled in bow, because if you think about it, if I get enough money to get the bow, I can get more kills with the bow when it's silent and stuff. So then by the time I have this and hopefully a sight, <clears throat> I can get enough. I can get 12,000 because as long as they're not as spooked, I can shoot one and then shoot another one so we, I can get two good shots or and hopefully kills in double the time that I can if or if I were to get a rifle because if I got a rifle I can only shoot one and there is a chance since it is still a lower caliber a 270 is compared to like a 7mm which will drop just about any any kind of deer species um, with an intestine shot up to heart lung or a headshot so, I decided to go with the bow. Um, I did come in here actually because I do need rifle ammo. I only have three shots left. I actually missed a good sized fellow buck when I started off. I'll show that. Uh, now, I think if I would have aimed right and actually got bought some polymers, I could have um, killed it. Trying to decide though, because these are free, but you know, I could always get polymer tips because they do get good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get one case of polymer just for, you know, say a nice buck or an elk or something shows up, or I for some reason cannot get close enough to get a good shot with good penetration. Um, so I do need to buy a couple of cases 
of soft point because I am just about out. I do have all the DLCs. I did not buy them actually at once. I bought game, the free DLCs, and then I bought the tent ground blind, and then I bought the ATV. I believe. Now yeah, something I did, I could have already gotten the bow, but something I messed up is when you're on um, Light and Light District and you do the um, Richard Hope mission, I believe. Um, when you go on to do the mission and you get there, there's that ground blind. I was looking at to see how much it possibly was to buy. Um, how many? It doesn't even backpack. Okay, so they're both in my backpack. Um, I'm gonna switch these because I don't need the bleak collar. Uh, I honestly don't know where the bleak collar went. See, I still have it. Um, uh, Vantage 8x42 binoculars. Um, these are all the tank ground blind stuff I have. I'm actually going to go ahead and put the green tent in here right now. Oops. Um, because what I did, um, I can't show you the map on Light and Lake right now. I'm actually going to grab a four wheeler. Go into my inventory and everything and show you guys that as well. So gun, yeah, I have this. I'll click this here. So bring me up here. I should have, yeah, I have soft points in, and then I have these polymers here. Wait, why don't I only have, oh, it's magazine size. Um, I should have a good amount. Um, the ancient, this is the scope I have. I didn't go through all the sites or anything. Um, but this is um, extra calls and stuff. I don't, I don't quite know. Um, I didn't go in here though. Road here. I took the other call out just because I didn't need it. Um, but the reason I have been. Dang it, that time I had it. Um, the reason I've been taking that tent is because back when it used to crash, after it crashed, um, and I X'd out of the thing and give me a couple of minutes while it's collecting all the data. And it'd play pretty smooth, and so I could keep the tent and place it down if I was quick enough. And then next time I come back in, I I can either fast travel or spawn in there, and then continue on where it's at. Or like right now, it's tw just like 10 till 12 o'clock at night. Um, so if I'm getting ready to get off after this. Then however far I get, I'll set my tent down. That way I don't lose that and have to start all the way back here. Um, I'll go ahead. Um, at inventory. I'll go to skills. Um, right now I have this one unlocked here. Which gives me the directional tracking cone because it's more accurate. Um, because sometimes it'll kind of knock it off and it won't be the actual way. I honestly don't know why this one you should. But I guess it'll give you more health. This one here um, increases your visibility to f or your visibility in foggy weather decreases your visibility in rainy weather. Um, this one I actually I did unlock because it reveals information about the gender. So that's a lot better because then if I find a track, I'll be like, hmm, should I decide to track it? if it's a male or not track it if it's a female um, something I do wish is they don't have it on um, scat or poop they don't have the ability to do that on there so if all is the only track you found is poop you're out of luck it won't tell you if it's male or female this one I actually just saw I'm interested in. Unlock your ability to stop animal in their tracks for a short amount of time by making an unexpected noise. Perfect for when you're ready to take a shot. That's actually 
cool. So like in real life, when you see bow hunters up in a tree, they have their bow drawn back and they'll say, Meh. and then they'll s the deer will stop and they take a shot. That's basically what that does. After a short amount of time though, a uh, short duration, the animal will realize that it, if something is wrong and flee. The difficult the animal, the faster the realization. Oh, what is that? Detect the general wind speed. Unlocks the ability to directionally change. Um, that just shows different. Hmm. Let's see, what does this do here? Um, each time a tractor is investigated, the trail line automatically draws between tracks. Oh, that's cool. That's actually something good. So, basically, it's like connecting the dots. So every time you have a trail um, of the same deer, it'll connect the dots and say, oh, that's a trail from there to there. Um, I'm actually curious about the other two on here. It reveals information about the approximate um, size of the group and r three reveals information about the weight and foot and fur type when investigating disturbed stuff. Um, perks, I've only gotten one perk, I believe. Um, yeah, one perk. Um, and that I spent on a lock's ability to read your next shot without leaving the game mode. And at one point, I actually thought that was a little bit of a glitch. Because on one of my games, I could do, I could hear myself reloading before I had that perk unlocked. But, um, we'll go ahead and go to the map and show you everything that I've done so far. So back... Um, when I started down here at the trailhead, it was a little bit blurry because it hasn't the map hasn't caught up yet. But right, yeah, there, right here where I start, right when that bend is right here. When I started out, there was a roe deer. It was a female. Just and Connie gave me that thing to look at animal and shoot and harvest the animal, as you can see up here. First steps. Um, actually, these are tracks right there. So this is. Actually, that this must have been where I was standing, and that's where that roe deer first was sitting. Shot, went over it, and then I shot. I thought I got a pretty good shot. Second shot, never found any blood. Tracked it here. Then I decided I'd work my way back up to here. Got about halfway up here, and spotted a bunch of roe deer. I believe was it here. It must have really been here the first. Uh, pretty nice follow buck. Um, actually, I didn't get to spot him. That's a female, I believe. Um, at first, I thought I only saw four of them, three, three females and a male. But then when I got down closer, um, I actually tried to jump off the whole thing and died completely. So I had to restart here. Or actually, it's from here. So then I went back up and just make sure they're there. Went, keep, came in around. It was about here. So no, I was right here. So there's six total. There's five females and one male. So that was quite a big bunch. And I shot right over the male. He was laying down and I completely missed him. Saw no blood anywhere. Um, so decided to keep going on. Because I knew it's actually that was my mark when it zoomed out. It looked there. Um, that w because what happened is I had a map of where all the reserves or the outposts are so I set a waypoint there and was headed that way and I saw it here so um in future to come I plan to kind of work this like a line um and then eventually place a tent in this general direction um is where I want to as long as there's not an outpost there's an outpost in this area somewhere I'll leave this without a tent but um, so I plan to probably take my full whaler that I spawned up not in the video but take this all the way down and check out these and then probably place a tent here um, till I explore this area here so I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys next oh I am level 4 um, 
I believe. Yeah, level four. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>